I didn't uh, didn't make a video pull the rest of the carrots out of the garden. I probably should have, but I'll at least splice in a picture here of my kids standing with all of them. Not really all that impressive. I know there's people out there that grow a lot bigger and a lot better carrots than this, but I'm happy with it. Uh, thrilled that the kids, of course, uh, got to be part of it and help dig the carrots and everything else. Uh, but <clears throat> I kind of messed up. I let them lay outside on the patio yesterday afternoon and most of the day today, and now they've got all rubbery on me. So they're they've, they've watered. They've gotten a little dried out and gotten rubbery. Um, so they're not exactly desirable for a crunchy carrot, but I'm going to try to make them up and just make pickled carrots with them. <clears throat> you know, something that you would expect them to be a little soft anyway when you eat them. So, I've got a recipe here online. I just looked up. I'm going to have to write it down so I can refer back to it. But it's real basic. Uh, you seal them up in a water bath can or no need to pressure can it. Um, basically just a vinegar bath to make, you know, like I said, poor boy pickled carrots. So, I've got that. I've got the few onions that I could find in the garden. And I bought some jalapenos uh, from the grocery store. So I'm going to dice up the onion or peel it, whatever, to make some chunks with it. I'm going to mostly leave the carrots whole. Um, I'll cut off the funky little tip and cut off the top. But on all anything that's like the size of your pinky or less, I'm, I'm just going to leave it whole. Some of these bigger ones, I might have to split them into quarters, you know. Um, but mostly leave them whole. I don't know what I'm going to do with that little guy. Just cut the toes off and cut the top off and have a little chunk, I guess. Um, and yeah, anyway, gonna process them that way, put them in pint jars so they're like sort of snack size. And um, yeah, see what we can do. <laughs> so let me get my recipe written out here to where I can refer to it. Excuse me, let me see what I've got to do for ingredients. I think I've got everything here in the house. It's mostly vinegar and salt and a little bit of sugar. So I think I got everything in the house. I gotta find the jars. Um, and I don't know, it's already nine o'clock at night, so I'm probably not gonna get it all done tonight, but I'm gonna at least try to start gathering out the ingredients and see what I can find. Okay, so here's the recipe I'm gonna go with. I just found this online, just did a Google search for pickled carrots. Uh, so here's the recipe <coughs> for the brine. Um, Cup of vinegar, two tablespoons sugar, one teaspoon salt, one eighth teaspoon black pepper, and two thirds cup of water, and then of course eight large carrots. Now it doesn't. This recipe doesn't specify what size jars to use or um, <coughs> anything like that. So I think I'm going to have to multiply this a lot because I think I'm going to end up stuffing quite a few jars. One person commented, I think, and said that it, it worked perfectly for one quart. Um, but I think what I'm going to have to do for tonight is just prep the carrots. Uh, so I'm going to go through, like I said, cut the roots and tops and split the long ones. Uh, and then we'll just, <coughs> excuse me, fill the bowl up with water and stick them in the fridge overnight. Uh, and then in the morning, I'll start mixing up my brine and uh, actually go about canning them. So for tonight, just got to prep them. All right, so <coughs> got it all diced up and cut up for tonight anyway. Obviously, mostly carrots. Um, but I went ahead and cleaned and peeled the onions and I cut up the jalapenos into just kind of quartered strips. Uh, <laughs> my plan will be tomorrow I'll get some jars down, I'll get them washed and sanitized and start stuffing all the jars with carrots until I get kind of an even count on that and then I'll go back through the jars and just kind of evenly distribute the jalapeno and the onion in each one um, just to kind of use it up. Like I said, I probably could have, a couple of these onions aren't too bad size. I probably could have kept them and stored them, but whatever. I'm just kind of in a mood to use it all up as best I can. So that's what we're going to do. So that's it for tonight. But in the morning, like I said, I'll get my jars down, get them ready, and we'll go about stuffing jars. Okay, so back in the kitchen, actually cooking dinner. And so I figured since I'm in here anyway, I'll start on these pickled carrots again. So here I've got my brine. Uh, I tripled the solution just to make sure I have enough. I don't care. I'll throw away the extra. But that's again vinegar. It was a it, the base recipe was a cup of vinegar, two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one eighth teaspoon black pepper, and two thirds a cup of water. So I tripled it all just like I said to make more brine. At the same time, I got my big pot for my water bath canner. Just gonna go ahead and get it started uh, to get it up to boiling. And I've got a bunch of jars already all washed and sanitized. So next step will be to start packing the carrots in there. 
which I don't know if I showed you guys this last night, but here's what I ended up with as far as the carrots and the onions and the peppers. So I'm going to start packing jars. Um, and uh, once that brine gets up to a boil, then I'll start using it to top off the jars and getting them going in the canner. So a whole lot going on right now while also trying to finish cooking dinner uh, and get the kids fed. So probably we'll kind of just let all this go slow for a minute while we have dinner and then I'll be back in here processing. That's the plan. Okay, so we're just starting to pack the jars now and what I've been doing is trying to get all the longest pieces of carrots that I can first. Most of them are pretty short and stubby really, um, but some of them I had a larger carrot that were full. And also I wanted to say, by the way, yesterday I was feeling like a real dunce because I left them outside and they were rubbery. Left them in water in the fridge all night and they are nice and crispy again. Like snap crispy. <laughs> oh, so that makes me really happy. Anyway, Hmm, I need a little zip on it. Anyway, so putting all the biggest ones in the jars first that I can. Throwing in two slices of jalapeno in each one and one basically quarter or half depending on the size of the onion. Um, carrots. Jalapeno, onion. Sorry, I had a brain fart. There's the onion in the bottom of this one, I think. Yep. And yeah, there's that one. Anyway, I've got my brine. Just got to a boil. A water back canner just got to a boil, so I'm going to pour the brine in the jars and get the first batch of jars in the uh, boiler, in the water bath. Let me get that done. Well, of course, there's that. <clears throat> Lesson learned. I tripled the original recipe for the brine, and it was still only enough for four pints, even with the jars stuffed absolutely full. Got three more pints to brine, one more pint to fill, and several pints worth of carrots still to do. Oh, I've got a couple of largemouth pints. I really don't want to do quartz just because they're too big. Two largemouth pints in there. I usually have a few spares up here. Nope. Right, nope. Looks like I'm going back in the attic. I need to go find a few more jars to wash, sanitize. Um, but I want to at least get these done with the brine. And I think that'll be enough that I can fill my water bath and so I can get that batch going. Um, get them running in the water bath while I'm going and finding jars to finish out the rest. But aggravating to say the least, definitely make sure you mix up more than enough brine at the start so that you don't <laughs> run out halfway through. <laughs> well, that's a warming sound. All the jars bubbling together. <laughs> I fit eight pints perfectly. Um, I don't know if it would fit eight wide mouth pints or not. Um, obviously they have a wider rim, but I think they're, I think the rim is about the same size as whatever the width of, uh, these jars is, but at the, at the base, you know, not 100% sure, I'll start to see, but these are the rest of the jars I came up with. I think that'll be enough. I really don't like these weird pint and a half things. We got them because they were on clearance. I've used them for soup. You know, I just fill them up and freeze them or whatever. Um, but they're just such a weird, <laughs> weird size. You can't really get a spoon down in them. I don't really like using them, but I've got them. I'm going to use them. They're the fastest thing that I can find. Um, and made it alarmingly obvious that I need to find more jars. Now I'm running to the issue that this is all the vinegar I have left. Maybe a cup and a half. Um, and I've got enough brine for maybe two more pints. And that's it. So I'm really not sure what I want to do. I don't want to throw it all away, but I'm going to have to somehow, I guess, just postpone and pick it up again tomorrow. I'm going to go to the store and get vinegar and heck I might see about getting more jars but definitely vinegar enough that I can finish this and uh, yeah so the rest of this brine I'll probably just pour it in a jar for the night throw it in the fridge I don't throw it away but I'm going to start cleaning things up for the night while this stuff's cleaning up I threw these in the canner at 9.35 not going to lie this is the first time I've ever done a water bath can but <laughs> most people say just do it for 10 minutes, which is not exactly a rolling boil right now, but it's definitely boiling, so I'm not sure if that counts on the time or if it's 10 minutes worth of rolling boil. I don't know. We'll give it 10, 15 minutes to be safe. 
and uh, yank them out of there, and then we'll see you in the morning if the pops are popped down like they're supposed to be, I guess. Alrighty. 9.50. That's 15 minutes in my book, which again, most people would say 10 minutes in the water bath canner. I went 15 just because. And it is boiling more vigorously now uh, than it was before. And again, I'm not a pro on water bath canning, but I imagine it is the same as like pressure canning. You don't want to just yank the jars out of there and set them on the counter. You want to let them cool down kind of still in the water bath, I believe. I don't know that. I need to do some more research of my own. But y'all can correct me if you want to. I'd appreciate it, actually, if you know any better. I'd love to yank them out and just go right into the next batch. But, of course, I don't have the brine to do it with anyway. So, I need to figure that out just for my own edification for the future anyway when I'm canning up larger batches of stuff. It'd be good to know. So, that's it for tonight. We'll let this one cool off, and uh, we'll check on in the morning. Well, I came and was gawking at them, and I heard one or two of them pop. So I went ahead and pulled them out of the canner. They're not boiling by any means, but um, went ahead and pulled them out, and was just going through poking. They're still hot. That one, I think, is down. That one's definitely down. That one's down. Let's see. That one doesn't seem like it. That one is. Oh, goodness gracious. Holy moly. I'm trying to hurt myself. Y'all going to get me in trouble. Um, but yeah. It seems like several of them. See, that one's not down. That one's definitely not down. And I don't know. They might cool. They might cool and still pop. They might be down in the morning. Let's just check back and see. But... A couple of them are down, a couple of them aren't. These are all reused lids and bands, so that could be the issue, I don't know. Could be that the jars are over full. A couple of them had carrots poked right up to the top. So, <clears throat> I guess we'll just check back in the morning and see how they look then. Okie dokie, well, here's our morning after check. Down, down, down. Those are the three that weren't sealed last night. Down, 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 down. Yay! <laughs> Yay, they're all sealed. I was a little, like I said, I was a little worried just because normally, from my experience anyway, it seems almost like as soon as you pull them out of the water, they'll start popping. But last night they didn't want to, so I was worried, like I said, I had a, a bad seal or something like that. But looks like they're all sealed up tight now. So <laughs> I'm going to take one. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Take one and throw it in the fridge just to see how that'll do. Get it chilled down and maybe have that for lunch. And the rest, I gotta find somewhere to hide them. All right, I'll let you know how they go. <clears throat> All right, well, we popped them open for a test. I chilled them in the fridge today. Chilled this one in the fridge anyway. Uh, just so I figured it'd be, it tastes a little better, probably cold and crisp. Man, they are good. I think it's good anyway. The, the kids complain they're a little spicy, but I think it's just kind of the tartness of the vinegar throwing them off. They think that's spicy because I don't taste anything to do with spice. I can't taste the onion directly. I don't taste anything like the jalapeno. Now maybe it, maybe it's influencing the flavor a little bit, but like I said, I don't taste anything that even makes me think <laughs> of jalapeno. It's just the carrot and mostly the vinegar. Um, so I don't know. You know, I've got a few more jars to do. I might up the jalapeno on those just because I think I've got more jalapeno anyway so it'll kind of naturally up the concentration we'll just kind of have to see how that works out but I might do that just consider those are the hotter ones for me but anyway I would do this again so if you guys want I think I rattled off the recipe a couple times to show it to you you're happy to copy it I found it online I like it recommend it I'd do it again